The New Hampshire Gazette, the nation's oldest newspaper. Editor Stephen Fowl, founded 1756 by Daniel Fowl. The October 11th, 2019 edition. A letter to the editor by Gary Patton of Hampton, New Hampshire. To the editor. New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu is like a Trojan horse. He presents a pleasing and affable appearance to others, but when out of public view, Sununu supports regressive, damaging policies that are not in the public interest. That is shown clearly by Sununu's vetoes of 55 bills that passed both the State House and State Senate. That is a record-setting number of vetoes. What are some of the bills Sununu vetoed? He opposed three gun safety measures that would have helped curb gun violence both inside schools, homes, businesses, and public areas. One would have required background checks for commercial firearm sales. A second would have imposed a waiting period between the purchase and delivery of a firearm, and the third would have prohibited firearms on school property. A majority of gun deaths are suicides. Suicides are often impulsive acts carried out on the spur of the moment. A waiting period allows the impulse to pass and gives time for parents, friends, and counselors to intervene. New Hampshire is only one of three states in the nation without any gun protection laws at schools. Sununu vetoed an increase in the minimum wage. The state presently has no minimum wage and defaults to the federal minimum wage of $7.25 per hour. There has been no increase in the minimum wage in New Hampshire since 2009. Is it any wonder that we cannot keep young people in New Hampshire when they cannot make a living here? Sununu vetoed a bill that would have created an independent commission in New Hampshire to redraw the state's legislative districts in order to prevent gerrymandering. The drawing of district lines to favor one party or the other. Sununu vetoed expansion of net energy metering for towns and businesses. The bill would have raised the limit from one megawatt to five on how much energy large customers can generate themselves and sell back to the grid to lower their energy bills. It was seen partly as a referendum on larger-scale solar power in New Hampshire, where the sector has been far slower to grow than the rest of New England. Sununu vetoed a paid family medical leave program, permitting workers to take time off to tend to the needs of sick or injured family members. Had Sununu not vetoed these bills, citizens in New Hampshire would have been better protected against gun violence, have been better able to make a living in the state, have benefited from a cleaner and fairer political system, have supported the rise of renewable energy in New Hampshire and lowered their electric bills, and been better able to care for ailing and hurt members of their families. Beware the Trojan horse. Beware Chris Sununu. Vote him out of the governor's office in November 2020. Gary Patton, Hampton, New Hampshire. Read by Derek J. Freeman of Portsmouth, New Hampshire.